Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, I'm Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again. And today we are celebrating the end of 2018 with the Golden Paw Awards. Our first award for the night goes to Best Gadget. I know gadgets are something that uh, can become a, a never-ending pit of money-wasting time in the shop, but there are a few out there that are worthwhile. In this one, I know there's some people who are going to cry and kick their feet over it, but the Universal Socket Adapter. Oh, I can't tell you how many times when I've been like tearing apart an old tool where somebody has done some damage to the sockets or whatnot, and it's too big for the next size socket, too small for the one above it, or I'm taking off something oddly shaped, a wing nut, whatnot. I, I find, you know, once a week I'm reaching for one of these just for that one sort of nothing else quite works kind of situation. And they've pulled my little fuzzy butt out of the fire enough that $15 seems like a small price to pay to keep my, uh, my workflow going, if you know what I mean. Our next award of the night is the Up and Comer. This is the award for the tool company out there that is, is trying to make a name for themselves and trying to, to be someone special. They're not quite at that level of status yet, but you know what? There, there's some signs of some real possibility there. And for me, that's tack life. Uh, if you guys remember a few months ago, uh, maybe more than a few months ago, they sent me one of the recip saws and I was pleasantly surprised, you know, for how much those things cost, the, the quality of the saw. And I won't say they're breaking any molds here, but they're getting a lot of quality tools or at least decent quality tools out at, at cheap prices. Now, these are by no means professional grade tools. These are around the house kind of stuff. And they've got a lot of, of really decent stuff at decent prices. And you can buy them on Amazon, which makes them easy to get, you know, something you don't need right this second. You can pick it up with Amazon Prime. You know, I'm sure you all have Prime like, you know, everyone else does. You'll get it at your house in two days for free shipping and whatnot. And they've got a lot of, I mean, they've got some gadgety kind of tools of their own, but they've got a lot of really tried and tested tools. They even have a full-size half-inch drill driver. I mean, that's kind of, for me, setting the bar as to when somebody tries to become a real tool company. The next award of the night is the Like a Boss. Yep, this is the award for a company that's like, we don't care what you think, we're going to have fun with it anyway. And this year's winner goes to the guy over at Harbor Freight. We don't know what your name is, but, but congratulations. When you recommended the name Pierce for the new brand of nailers, oh, <laughs> You had some brass ones there, didn't you? And the guy and the guys upstairs went with it. Oh, wow. I got a I get a chuckle every time I walk through the store and I look over and I see a Pierce nailer. <laughs> you got to love that. All right, next on our list, the best budget tools, now if you can't read in the small print, that aren't from Harbor Freight. Yeah. Everyone knows the bear loves himself some Harbor Freight there, but there's other budget tool companies out there. And my favorite budget tool company besides the old HF is, well, <laughs> remember when? Yeah, that's them. When Tools. They have got a slew of, of tools comparable or sometimes even better than what you'll find at Harbor Freight. They've got your basic jigsaw. They've got your uh, portable inverter generator. They've got a remote controlled air filtration system. I, I'm actually stunned that Harbor Freight hasn't come out with one of those yet. They've got some great uh, budget bench top tools. That's one of the, the real go-to wins for when is, is their, uh, their their bench top tools. The drill presses, the sanders, the grinders, they're, they're great for that. And, and as if you all know, anybody who's watched my uh, my video, the, the king of bench top sanders, uh, Win has an oscillating sander that's a, essentially a clone or close to a clone. It's a kind of a slightly size reduced clone of the rigid sander. And I just love them, especially for the price. You, you can't beat that sander. And the next award of the evening is the going our own way. We don't care what you think about us. We're going to do what we want. This is for the innovative tool company out there. Yeah, they may swing and miss a lot, but when they hit a home run, they, well, I guess it's kind of a matter of taste. But they're definitely trying. And I got to give them, you know, I got to give them a shout out for that. And that company is Works. Yeah. I know a lot of people can hem and haw and say this thing's a piece of junk, that thing's a piece of junk. But the, 
I mean, they're definitely a home gamer platform, but my gosh, at least they're trying stuff that's new. You know, I think I first saw it when they were coming out with these, uh, with their blower systems. They they really changed the whole leaf blower kind of paradigm. Then they've got their uh, their switch out uh, drill driver set here. The uh, the one that's got two driver bits and one you can flip it over. Come on, how many times have you been working on on a project where you have to you know, pre-drill the hole and then flip over to a Phillips to, to drive the screw in. And you don't kind of wish that maybe you had one of these. Yeah, okay. Now their little alligator tree saw thing down there. Yeah, it, it's a bit gimmicky, but you know that's going to end up in a horror movie here sometime soon, right? And the edge trimmer, the edge trimmer down there, I got to say, I really enjoyed it. We bought one uh, for the house up in Montana, and then we ended up donating it to the local church when we came back down here. They've been using it. It works great. It, there's just nothing you know negative you can say about that thing. They've got a lot of great tools at not so unreasonable prices, and they're really trying to break the mold. Their AI screwdriver, you know, it's it, it basically it has its own torques and impact driver setting, and it figures out what you're trying to do and does it for you. So no having to flip the switch and make sure you have it on this or on that. It just figures it out. That's that's a lot of smarts and a little hand tool. So I got to give a, a big thumbs up to Works for maybe not making the best tools, maybe not making always the most reliable tools, but constantly trying to break the mold and, and do something new and innovative in the uh, the tool industry rather than just, you know, copying what everyone else is doing. And the next uh, word of the night is the one and done. This is for you, uh, mostly for your home gamers who you're, you're doing stuff around the house and you know what? You're, you're maybe you're not like a serious tool guy, but you do need the tools, you know, the basic tools that every homeowner who wants to be a DIYer needs, but you're not going to get, you know, too serious about it. And you just want to buy a system that will get it done. And that award goes to the Black & Decker Matrix system. Yeah, I know a bunch, a bunch, I bet a bunch of you are surprised. You know, the Bear's not a huge fan of uh, Stanley's power tool systems. I find many of them to be overpriced and under-engineered. But the uh, the Black & Decker system here, you get six tools in one. It's kind of similar to Rigid's uh, multi-tool system, but uh, in, a, in a smaller, more compact version. But you've got yourself... Uh, a drill, a sander, a jigsaw, an oscillating tool, a router, and an impact driver, all in that one case for $170. And, you know, if you're just doing basic stuff around the house, some, you know, you know, some honeydew kind of stuff, th this might be the, uh, the kit for you. Now, on top of that, there's a few other items you can do to expand this system. You can pick up this little circular saw attachment. Now, you're thinking, well, that's not going to be good for anything. I'll tell you what, I found these small circ saws to be excellent at ripping down uh, sheet stock. And what you got to remember is when you have a smaller blade, you don't need as much power behind it to spin it at the same RPMs. When you're spinning a 10-inch blade, yeah, you're going to need a lot of oomph, and a 7-inch blade is going to require less. One of these tiny little blades is perfect for cutting down lightweight sheet stock. And how about a recip saw attachment for less than $30? You just pop that puppy on there, go to town, you know, great for, you know, some basic demo work, you know, as he said, doing some PVC kind of stuff. You know, there's a lot of stuff you can, you know, if you can't cut it with a circ saw, you can cut it with a recip. Here's something you probably don't normally think of when you think hand tools or handheld power tools. <laughs> an inflator. Yeah, so maybe you don't have an air compressor or whatnot, but you need to pump up the tires in the, uh, the old family wagon or maybe even inflate the, the kids, you know, pool toys. Snap that puppy on there. Again, $25. This is what makes this Matrix system great. You use the same battery, the same chassis, and you just replace these heads. They take up less storage room. They're easy to use. Anybody can do it. Yeah, I know a lot of you are going to put your nose in the air. Oh, that's the, you know, I would never buy something that cheap. But, you know, not everyone is a DIY god like you. We, we bow before you. Our next award goes to the best merch award. And that award goes to, oh, look at that. I'm, I can't believe you guys picked me. The Redbeard Den of Tools. As you know, we dropped Patreon. So we're counting on you to help support the den by picking up a sticker, picking up a shirt, maybe even getting a sweatshirt and help support your favorite tool bear by buying some Redbeard Den of Tools approved merchandise. 
Uh, links, of course, for everything here are, are down below in the tool description or the, the video description down there. And don't forget, way down there, stomp that uh, that like button. You know, throw the bear a, a like and a share. And, you know, it's in the end of the year. It's the holiday giving season. You know, sh share with a friend. Next word of the night is the Ryan Leaf Award. Yeah. For those of you who, who don't uh, follow sports, Ryan Leaf was considered probably the biggest bust in the NFL draft ever. Uh, Peyton Manning was uh, the guy going up against him. Everyone was talking about who was going to be the better quarterback. Uh, I think we all know how that worked out. And so this is the award for the biggest bust of tools that we're hoping that we're going to, you know, take center stage and ended up really kind of being a disappointment. And then sadly, that award goes to the Craftsman CMK 200. In fact, pretty much all the Craftsman tools. The Craftsman tools have kind of turned out to be basically uh, the wannabe DeWalt's with uh, most of the cost and very little of the engineering. Uh, they, they're very pretty to look at and they've got all sorts of cool, fancy little, you know, uh, design features on them. But at the end of the day, uh, they seem to be all looks with no show. Who knows what a uh, Stanley is going to end up doing with the, with this tool system that, you know, they're still relatively new, but for right now, I gotta say the bear is more than a little disappointed in what you've done with the, this, uh, iconic brand. The next award of the night is the We Hear You, <laughs> loud and clear. This is for the, uh, the the brand or company that has heard the disgruntled ramblings of all of us here in the Den of Tools and has changed their ways and, and made a, a full uh, come about, if you will. And that award goes to Harbor Freight and the Hercules Professional Double Bevel Sliding Compound Miter Saw. <laughs> yeah, $300. Coupon still there right now. Uh, this saw, when it came out, was priced at, what was it, $400 and came with a 90-day warranty. And once you added a two-year warranty, I think that took it up to $460. And honestly, at that point, it was getting so close within spitting distance uh, of some other uh, more uh, established options that it made it impossible to recommend this saw. As I said in a video earlier this spring, uh, my, you know, does the math add up? And I said, no, it's, it had nothing to do with the quality of the saw. It had everything to do with the fact of the price and the warranty. Well, Harbor Freight heard us loud and clear. First, they added a one year money back guarantee. That's right. If you don't like it on day 364, you can bring it back, set it down and say, I, I want my moolah back and say, I, I want my cash back and they will do it. They'll, they'll refund it right there. The other thing is with the new coupons and stuff, they, they drop the overall price and then the coupon price at $300, $300. Wow. And, and if you see my comparison, I did a comparison between it and the DeWalt. And a lot of people complained, oh, you should have given the DeWalt the blade the Hercules had, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's the blade the DeWalt ships with. That's DeWalt's choice. I can swap and do all sorts of things. And, you know, that just starts going down this the slippery slope of, well, you should have tightened this down or you should have done this to it. The fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, I wasn't sitting there saying that the Hercules was way better than the DeWalt. The point of the matter was that the Hercules was as good, if not better than the DeWalt. And it cost $300 with a one-year money-back guarantee. I, at that point... Yeah, I, I think it's a no-brainer to go with the Hercules. I, I've got it in my shop. I use it every week, if not every day, and I love it. But all that aside, the real point here is that Harbor Freight heard our kibitzing, and they responded, and you got to really respect them for that. And the last award of the night is the Going Pro. This is the, if you will, the best, you know, the best of the best. If you are going to go pro, what's the brand or tools that you're going to go with? And uh, I think that it's probably going to be no surprise for most of you when I say Milwaukee. Milwaukee has made huge strides in the industry. Uh, you know, DeWalt has been and probably is still the standard, you know, default tool that most people use. But it's one of those cases of they use it because they see everyone else using it. And it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Milwaukee has gone above and beyond. They have a five-year warranty compared to 
DeWalt's uh, one year slash three year warranty. They've got a, a, a better tool. It's constantly beating pretty much everybody else in, in reviews. And on top of it, they've got a system around those tools that really support the professional. Uh, their red battery system, their their Bluetooth enabled uh, battery tracking and tool lending system. All of this really comes down to a tool that is built specifically for the pro. Somebody who does this every day, you know, especially somebody who runs like say a business or a crew, there, there's just no two ways about it. Milwaukee has really engaged the professional community and come out with a tool that meets their needs. And that's why the Golden Paw Award for Best Pro Tool goes to Milwaukee. Congratulations, guys. Now, this is the part of the video where I say goodbye and thanks and ask you guys to sub and subscribe and buy some more merch and all that kind of stuff. But we're not going to do that today. Um, today, we're going to take it down a note, and I'm going to ask you, if you can, to help out a family in need. Uh, for those of you who don't know uh, the bear here, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're based in Las Vegas now, but my family and I, we moved here from a little town in northern central California called Newman. It's a population of just over 10,000. It's a small town, you know, two stoplights, uh, you know, one grocery store, the kind of place where you wave at everybody as you drive down the street and you know everyone on the police force. Well, unfortunately, uh, the... Uh, Chris, late Christmas night, uh, actually around one o'clock on the 26th, uh, Officer Ronald Singh was uh, murdered by a person that he had pulled over. And I'm not going to get into the politics of this or the discussion about this and that. I know a lot of people want to. If you want to do that, I have a politics channel that you know I discuss that kind of stuff on. That's and that's Red to Bear for President. Uh, there's you know, go over there if you want to find out more information on that or if you want to discuss this topic some more. But the point is that Corporal Singh here, he left behind a wife and a five-month-old son. And uh, it's just, you know, in, in a town like this, any kind uh, of, of crime like that is a tragedy. But to lose one of the law enforcement that protects the community is hits that much harder. And this poor family can use your help and, and your thoughts and your prayers. So if you have some time, I'm going to ask, you know, rather than donating to the channel and whatnot, if you could give $10 or more, but at least if you could give $10, please go to the Stanislaus Sheriff's Department uh, page here that links there. I'll have a link down in the description also. And, and donate, you know, whatever you can, you know, skip a, a happy meal or, you know, Starbucks or whatnot, you know, make a sandwich at home, make a cup of coffee at home for just one day this week and, and take that money and help out a family that's really lost everything. All right, that's it. And that's our awards for uh, end of the year. If you have any uh, anything you think the bear missed out, make a comment down below. Let me know who you think should have won an award or what award you think I should have given out if we didn't you know, cover the, the category you felt needed to get covered. Anyway, that's all for today. Take care, y'all. And as always, shine on.